What's up? Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to build a spur board. If you are a bareback rider, you have to have a good spur board. It should be something that you are riding every day, honing your skills. Uh, so we are going to get after it. I'm gonna uh, take you guys through a quick tutorial. First things first, we gotta make some legs. I make mine two and a half feet tall. We're gonna need six of them. I like to have two legs in the middle just for a little bit of support so you don't kick holes in your spur board as fun as that is. I hate building new ones. So I get all of my legs cut, all six of them, and then I use these brackets. I really like these brackets. Uh, you don't have to have them if you're a real carpenter. I am not, so I use these. You'll need two packs because they come in a two pack and you need three of them. So once you get those, then you can put those brackets on each one of your legs and the next thing we're going to need is to make our spine i make it about three foot long probably doesn't have to be quite that long but uh, that's how i make mine uh, i enjoy using the brackets because then i can just throw them on the spine bada bing bada boom and the angle is almost always right it's never too wide or too narrow the next thing is i just make some supports for my legs down here uh, this really helps the seat so that it that the seat doesn't fall off and you knock yourself out while you're riding your spur board that's never fun so i get that on there and i, I cut a little bit of braces to go in between my legs uh that way it just gives it a little bit more support and i put one on the back as well so once i have that then i'm gonna need to grab my rig in at some point and check and make sure that i have the height of the seat about right i want the top of the spine about parallel with the top of my rig and handle once that's done now we're ready for some plywood definitely don't cut plywood that way uh i would not recommend it definitely not osha approved but we have our plywood cut and I've got to cut about a foot off of it because typically it comes in four by eight sheets. So I am using my handy dandy two by four to mark a straight line. We cut some more off. Again, I'm not a carpenter. I don't even have basic carpentry tools, okay? So if I can do this, you can. I've yet to lose a finger knocking on wood right now so i put the plywood on once we get the plywood on there's a pause for the cause in here somewhere yep up oh, got to talk to the boss old douglas about some programming for a client so we are pretty much ready for the padding to go on uh, i couldn't handle it anymore sorry but i had to take my shirt off freaking soaking wet with sweat check to make sure that the padding is in the right spot this is definitely not an aesthetically pleasing spur board, but it's definitely a functional one. So I hope that this little spur board tutorial helps you. There is no excuse now for not having a spur board. All the supplies for one spur board cost less than $100 and took me around about two hours. So it's really feasible for you if you're ready to take your bareback riding seriously. You need to have a spur board. I cannot overemphasize the importance of the fundamentals through having a spur board. Here's the finished product. Get after it. Good luck. Hope that this helps you. Follow for more rodeo content.